Welcome back guys to Pokemon Shield, where last episode after a failed attempt to capture a Gigantamax Corviknight, we set out towards Route 7 in another battle with Hop. Defeating him, we passed through the small section and into Route 8, a maze of ruins with Pokemon and trainers awaiting, which we now continue on through. Who to call out versus this guy now? Come on Tox, get out of here. He's got Iron Barbs, Steel Electric is it? Oh god, I don't even know. Not very effective, we know that. Electric types can't get paralyzed, can they? Wow, Iron Barbs hurts for a lot. I guess we'll test the theory with Poison Jab. Yep. Yeah. Now I know what you're definitely at. But how am I going to catch you? That's my problem. Let's play my guitar. That's definitely looks like a guitar. Whoa! Still good damage on the not effective scale. I guess I could nuzzle to bring its HP down more, but Toxitricity is being beaten up as well at this point. It's in the red. And every time I do that, Iron Barbs really hurts. <laughs> I won't let you go down. Have some Moo Moo Milk. Imagine that sound when we give it to us, the shattering of the glass bottle. Not a friendly little blighter, are you? Let's nuzzle you one more time. Even with the iron barb. Ow! I think it's time to eat some curry again. Moo Moo takes away the boo boo, yeah. Same gender. I guess I could use Ultra Balls. Just get in the ball. Stay in the ball. We've lowered your HP. We're here to catch. Hey. Oh, get the Mario was caught. Ah, Morgan grew to level 40. He wants to learn the move Nasty Plot. Uh, I'll keep on moves. We'll just move this along a little bit. Togedemaru! Electric steel. When it's in trouble, it curls up into a ball, makes its fur spikes stand on end, and then discharges electricity indiscriminately. Great. <laughs> what about your trainer? You zapping them? What if I was wearing metal pants that day? I wear metal pants all the time, you know? My favourite kind of pants. At this point, we actually just need to hit a poker center to get this PP restored. <laughs> Buy some more super potions in the future, then, to be honest. Right, excuse me, I need to find big, burly, fighting type bloke. Well, that's a thing up there, but I think I've caught one of them. My live concert is open to all, and you'll be attending. Will I now, mister? Nice Pokeball you have there, musician Charles. He's got a. He's got gold teeth! We just had this fight and it didn't end well for me. Zing Zen. Do not paralyze me, I'm playing football now. We're allowed to straight defeat you this time. Who's next? No one. Hmm, guess the room between me and my partner was off. I mean, you shouldn't complain when my Morgan and me. Morgan probably hates me. One day I really want to jam with Piers. Do you know? Do you know? 
Right, where's Mr. Burly Coat? Oh, I'm not one of you again. Mr. I don't want to die no matter what Pokemon. I guess we'll switch for Corviknight and get this over a little bit faster. Unless it casts Endure every 10 seconds. Of course it failed, I didn't even attack you! It still survived! Don't reverse it on me! Ow! We're not gonna endure anymore. He endured it. Bird drill pecks the charm. Oh, get him through this route. Taking a fair bit of time. This Corviknight reaches 46. 105 attack currently. Can I just pick up the ball, please? A King's Rock. Line to be held by Pokemon when the holder successfully inflicts damage, the target may also flinch. Wait, isn't there a way like back up over here? I thought there was. Obviously not. Run away, it's coming for me! And take a big shift to the left. We find ourselves meeting a Crustle as a giant roadblock in our way. Right, caught one of you. We know that everything's relatively effective. So I'll go with a kiss first. Good damage there. Good gem. damage there, Morgan. Didn't even gain much HP. Yikes! Um. <laughs> Dagno! I need your help! So glad I didn't crit. We did no damage to it, and Exus is. Exus is doing some serious hits! Alright, let's finish this. We'll liquidate your assets with a critical hit. Is that worth 3,000 watts? Probably. Stocks just need 45. I feel like all my party's a bit hurt now. Oh, we got TM43 Brick Break. Don't tell me it's like not super effective against that guy. Could also break barriers such as light screen and reflect. The user attacks with a swift chop. I'm just wondering, can... That's all our special stuff. Where did Brick Break get dumped in here? Revenge there, fine. This attack moves power is doubled if the user has been hurt by the opponent at the same turn. I don't see many people being faster. Where's Brick Break? Oh, it's TR. No, it's TM. It's in the bottom. It's just not sorted right. Cannot learn. Oh. You make me the most sad. Everyone can learn to sleep. That's great. So Cinderace can learn revenge, but probably isn't going to go after, which sucks. I wanted Cinderace to learn another fighting move at this point. I guess I could give it to someone else, though. If anyone else could have learned it. Oh, you're going to stop me reaching camp, are you? It's a nice camp there. I'm going to chill at the camp. Why just to be like this? All beetles still fine. And most of my guys still fine. Let's heal Morgrim and head into this battle. Ah, no one saw me. They were on their phones. And then they saw me there. I'm super cute. I'm carrying super duper strong Pokemon. Succeeding is a business plan. Depends on communication. I get along perfectly with my Pokemon. You spot me there, you git. 
colleagues Allison and Jordan. Hippoden and the Steely guy. Excadrill as well. Right, I guess I'm using Liquidate on the one on the right. It's all relatively effective. Let's hope that you can stay in this fight, I think, personally. Wow, you're going first? No! Morgan! Quick! Go next, Dreadnought! You've got to beat him! He no, he lived! How can he live that? Okay, he used that on Dreadnought. Still super effective. It means we can get him out of the fight. <gasps> Morgan! Except Dreadnought's having a bad time now as well. He's not started well. I know I go next, but... I wish I had some multiple attacking things right now. Who do I take out? I guess I'll take out Excadrill. This is not a great place for... Uh oh. Big troubles. Very big troubles. We're in big troubles! <laughs> Dreadnought! I'm going first, I know that much. Oh no! Quick, more nutritious moo moo milk! This is like terrible type matchups. If this dig hits us, we're just going down, right? Went for Dreadnought. Thank god it went for Dreadnought. Excadrill's gonna take a big amount of damage from that. Took out the Hippo Olden, so it doesn't get to attack Dreadnought this turn. Obi will go to level 45. Morgan will go to 41. We're still buffeted by this stupid sandstorm. A berserker is coming out. Your steel. Ha! This time we've got you. Berserker. Well, you didn't even level up into like a Persian properly. You still just look the same. Okay. Oh, you faked out. You flinched me. No! <laughs> Don't go underground again. It successfully avoided all my attacks again. Oh, no. These strategies, they're just too good for me. can't let anyone get hit now, so I'm just having to chunk a load of items because of what's going on here. This duo battle is going terribly. He's got me every time with these digs. Oh, 
Oh. I've been trying to attack you. Don't talk me now. Now, if you go under... Okay, the sandstorm at least is finished. Right, I should go first. Does that mean I should attack you or you? I can knock the Berserker out in one go. If you go dig again, I will cry. Right, we got we got him. That's Berserker down, right? Yeah. Right, taking out one of the T two teams. One is done. Cinder is good at 46, and once in the move, bounce! One is bounce, it's a flying type. The user bounces up high and then drops on the target on the second turn. This may also leave the target with paralysis. That's random for me to then flying moves. I guess I'll get rid of my fighting move. It learned bounce. Dreadnought. Through to 46. And learned used liquidation. Finally taking down the Excadrill 2. Oh, your team works better than mine. Lucario. Pyro Ball. And... Liquidation. Let's finish this fight. No more dig. Dig is bad. That went terribly. The Pokemon is strong and cute! Only because of potions. I'll sell the fix with you. I'm sure in pocket change. Okay, Mr. Selfie Guy. Random business people. More difficult than gym battles. Let me check my schedule. Then me game, my friend never lost. Okay. The strong and cute. The Pokemon that's strong and cute suit me best. Sure. I found Lisa's Pokemon camp. Yes, I will pay a visit. Lisa. Lisa, feed me. Feed me some good stuff. What have you got? Um, Look who is the Eevee trainer. We've got an Eevee fest over here. Endless Eevees. Lots of people here, weirdly enough. And then just Morgrim in the middle of everything. Hey, bye! How many berries do you want me to stump up this time? I mean, everyone else has got to be putting in berries, right? They are. I'll put in three. That's three. Three. Oh, there's me with a the mix and match berries here. Ramen. I'm helping. Ah! You keep me going. I've got it to where it needs to be. Come on, help me out. You didn't even keep that up very well. The fire started to go down. Like you're not even trying. Who's doing all the work here? What are you doing? Well, all the evolutions are gonna have a lovely meal. Spicy is the noodle curry. Still seem to like it. They always do. Now what do we get? A status position, experience points, friendly. Job is done. We'll leave Lisa's camp now. It's a very beautiful Eevee camp. Off we go then. T2 
teach you a cannon secret known to pros. Pressure control stick and you can squat down, making you feel closer to a really small Pokemon. If you'd like, I can show you how. Maybe you like to pop on my cam? You taught me how to do a squat, did you? We found a terrain extender. An item to be held by a Pokemon extends the duration of the terrain caused by the holder's move or ability. In a weird camp. Alright, that's Route 8. And that looks like we're most of the way there to our next town, finally. The gym at Churchester. Churchester? 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 Alright. I would really like an actual, like, restorative place at this point in time so I can get PP as well. Would be lovely. Doesn't look to be the case for me at the moment, does it? I've already caught one of you, haven't I? Haven't I? Vanillish. I oh, know, I've seen you. Don't get frozen there. I'm sure you, nothing is super effective against you. He says. You weren't planning a move. Wait. This is acid flavor ice cream? I feel like this is going to work out really badly for me. <laughs> Wait, you get healed? Okay. This sucks. As usual. I want to catch you. It just feels like you don't want me to. Which is normally the way. I don't care about you after all. I do care that you're gaining HP just from it being hailing in this area. That is horrible to have you in here. Like, why am I dozing off? Because the uproar. Well, I'm paralyzed with vanillish. Isn't that cold? Yeah, we need to do some actual damage. Now, the vanillish calm down. It's great to know. Uh, let's use an overdrive and not kill it. Oops. What's it me? What else have we got around this place? Snorrun, you, uh... Ah, come on with me! <laughs> We've had a wild snob! I ice creamed it, yeah. <laughs> that thing came for me. Something tells me Morgan's about to get knocked out again. Okay, that snob died instantly. Maybe I didn't want to kill that thing. It was an accident! There's no one. Well, snobs must be protected. At the moment, they're being horribly destroyed. It's the opposite of protection. I'm now worried about any move killing it. We'll use a quick move. It's not much cool. Alright, here's Iceberg Worm Pokemon. It eats snows that pile up in the ground. The more snow it eats, the bigger and more impressive the spikes of this back grow. We'll not give Snob a nickname. Looks like some kind of weird back massage to me. How can we put the front lines then to be able to actually catch these guys and not kill them by accident? I've already got a snow run. Seems the more rare thing there was the vanillite. It's 
Snow rents galore. Never snow. I mean, we're literally on the borders of town. I have a feeling another Cinderace soccer fest is about to take place in this next gym. From the town of Snow. You want to know the name of this town, right? Uh, yes. Surchester. I'm going to move back down here, though. See if I can get vanilla to appear. Doesn't seem to be what I'm making happen, though, does it? I will catch you. Vanillish, vanilla, whatever. Is Toxtricity really friends with me, by the way? Because you need to shake them. My nozzle did way more damage this time than it did last time to this guy. And this he's not healing this time. Okay. I'm gonna keep nuzzling, because this thing took way, way more damage. Oh, you avoided it? I don't wanna go to sleep. Oh, nuzzle's doing loads of damage to it now. I think Tox can take another hit. Tox just see thinking about camping. I think it's because my friendship's gone up with Tox quite a bit. Yeah? How does Vanillish keep dodging all these attacks? I'm glad the Vanillish has calmed down and all. What doesn't half dodge a lot of my attacks? Oh, now you're paralyzed. Still get buffed by hell. Glad you're not ringing a ding of dinner bell anymore. And right, one more nuzzle will put it in a very nice capturable range. Oh, that's a new move. Multiple attacks. It's essentially firing butts at me. Because this back end is like the cone, which is the same shape as these icicle spikes. Yay. Five times. Five times. Oh, shall I revi rely on a capture now? Tox could go down. But we do have a poker center right next to us. I guess Tox won't be very friends with us if we don't need this. Phew. Tox has withdrawn from this battle safely. <sighs> the delicious data will be added to the Pokedex. It blasts enemies with cold air reaching minus 148 degrees Fahrenheit. We need Celsius here. Freezing them solid, but it spares their lives afterwards. It's a kind Pokemon. Yes, I'll just make you suffer, but I won't kill you. That makes me magnanimous. Literal torture, but it's fine. I didn't kill you, so I'm like heavenly. I hear the Pokemon in Pokeballs or boxes are nice and comfortable. You hear that, but what's the truth? Hi, welcome to the Pokemon Center. I need to rest everyone. Everyone needs to have a rest. It's been a long, hard road. There's actually like many Pokemon like that won't do very well in this next battle when I look at it. I do hope to see you again as well. Hello. Lady at the counter has stored the Pokemon in boxes too. She was too hard. Too hard? My Corvin and I have been flying all over as a taxi. We could really do with a bit of rest. I've seen so many different battles. I've got a good eye for strong training as a Pokemon. I'm pretty sure you'll get strong. Well, thank you. Let us buy some more balls. Always got to keep my supply up, right? One premier ball on the house. Not part of a deal. Right, I'll buy some more super potions as well, because I've used quite a lot of them. Or have been using quite a lot. 
<laughs> now Sam's in the in back of his head going, but I haven't been to a shop for some more clothes recently. I should probably go and buy some more clothes. Let's see what the latest fashions are in this snowy area. Can I get myself a nice parka? Well, if I'm going to do that, I should probably go into this section. Sell the 20k big nugget. Yeah. Normal nugget. Stardust. Two big mushrooms. A bomb mushroom. Oh, man. Now we're rich again. Three honey. Three tiny mushrooms. The rare bones can be sold for a high price at shop. There we go. Off you go. But well, we can sell the fossilized fish and the fossilized drake. I've got 100,000. 100, I can buy the 100,000 park. It probably costs that much to be fair. Look, look how excited this thing gets. And it's like, oh, it didn't actually use me. They put box on a use anywhere function. How dare they? The hell is that store? <laughs> the sign, it intrigues me. It's my favourite TM. Do you want to use it on your Pokemon? I didn't say yes, but thank you for it anyway. Rock 2. Boulders are held at the target. This also lowers the target speed stat by preventing its movement. If you want to collect technical records or TRs, check dens in the wild area and have max raid battles. You do need to have more of them, that's for sure. I may not look the part, but I completed the gym challenge back in the day. Doesn't mean you're the victor, though, does it? Completing the gym challenge does not make you champion. My club up has just spent a good chunk of time in the hot spring. His body's toasty warm now. Clobopus. You boiled that poor squid alive? The way their flames wave is so strange. Why it makes me feel so calm? What if one falls asleep and then sets your couch on fire? Lit, man. These, these are, these, that one's down with the kids. Lit. Let's attend to cruel fate. Yes, yes it is. I saw that sparkly. A snowball? An item to be held by a Pokemon in boost attack if the holder is hit with an ice type attack. It can only be used once. Hit by ice. Boost attack. Like you're throwing a snowball back then, like a retaliation. The hero's bath. I hear this hot spring has been around since ancient times. The hero's bath. fa 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 <laughs> You the heater for the store. Food is out of this world. It's worth coming in just for this, even if it means going out of your way. We must have a proper meal first, we want to have a proper battle. What's a proper meal then? Talking about we're during a meal? What are you trying to do? Ruin your own food? Mm. This is good to perfection. It's juicy but not overly soft and gives you something to really bite into. I'm gonna send the cook my compliments. I feel here's really a treat though. I wish I could figure out how to make it at home so that my Pokemon could enjoy it with us. And you bring your Pokemon. I can't talk to the guy. Sorry, mister. Can't speak to you. This is a nice tapestry. I bought it at the antique market. Oh, really? It's important to me. Alright, welcome to Bob's your uncle. You're not leaving here without enjoying a delicious meal first. Except I can't buy a meal from you. Is that an American style diner? Hero's Bath. Of course, I come from the town of Bath. Is that why it's trying to weirdly emulate here? I mean, we don't really have hot springs, do we? Well, obviously we do if we have baths, but it's not in the icy, cold places. Famous ones are the, the, the Roman town of Agrisulis, where I was born and raised. Seems like the hot springs are perfect temperature today, too. I only put on bathing it, though. Well, there's no hides the ice type Pokemon around here really well. Wait, there's ice type Pokemon here? I'll keep my eye out now. Sometimes the only thing to do in the cold weather is have an ice cream. Uh, what? Seems a little counterintuitive. I'm cold on the outside. I want to be cold on the inside too. I really fancy catching a vanillish, but catching Pokemon is a young person's game. By gum, by gum. I sure would be glad if someone would trade me a vanillish for my sock. You really want to? I'm gonna catch another vanillish then. Why'd you have to be like this guy? 
Why do you have to be like this? Now I'm gonna have to catch another one. Oh, you'll trade with me? Sure. Have I already got a sork? I've just traded this for no reason. Yes, all American diners are just like that one, yeah. I'm talking about American diners that end up over here. I definitely fought one, but I don't know if I've caught one. Well, that tells you that. The karate chops of a sork that's trained itself to limit can cleave the ocean itself. All these Pokemon able to destroy humanity, the world, at any moment. Just a single one. Not oh, quite the split I say. You have my gratitude. The power they contain. I know they're Ice-type Pokemon, but is there such a thing as Snowman Pokemon? A Snowman Pokemon? No. Yes. Well, there's one. Snob. Muscles. No cold is too cold if you have powerful muscles to keep you warm. Good job, if Pokemon gets frozen during a battle, we won't be able to move. Wait, you could already head down Route 9? No one's stopping me. Well, I know I want to gym it up first. Ice types are the perfect fit for Icy Town. Snom is just right at home. I'm like five times new to Icy Towns. I'm toasty warm, thanks to Sislipede. Yes. Our bunny is going to get right to work soon. Even the same hairstyle can look completely different on different people. I changed my hair and then I have to update my lead card. I can't decide on the perfect hairstyle, so I just keep doing that over and over. <laughs> Welcome, lovely to see you. What would you like to do today? Not have a hairstyle. I have a hat. You'll make me take it off again. I'm not fool. Oh, Got to check things out first, yeah? It's right there. Plenty of snow and ice for a snow one to eat. Now, will it become a Glalie or Frostless? Now, that's the question. What does it want to be? Don't you be forcing it to conform now. Is that another snowball? Oh, this time it's a polka doll next to the, uh, to the thing of a well. Snowman. Yes. Pokemon. I don't know warm snow. We can play outside a lot more warm snow. Ooh. I love having snowball fights with my Pokemon. Dragon type Pokemon are weak to ice type moves. Maybe they don't like cold, huh? Hint, hint. Well then, I need to choose outfits to really help bring out the cuteness of my Pokemon I'm with. Well, welcome to our boutique. It's time. It's been a while. A torn white top, a torn... Why are they torn? Where are they torn? On the arms? A nasty plot, astonished Eevee. Looks like a Pikachu. What? Pikachu payback? Then that's an Eevee. I'm not quite sure you understand which is which here. Button up shirts. I don't know. I guess they've got them different way, the other way round for some weird reason. Oh, we could buy some pastel parkers. They don't look nice. No, I, I think I'll stay clear of the parkers. Uh, what about... Can you only let me buy trousers in this weather? Oh, I could buy some dresses. Ooh. Fancy dresses. Could get my green ensemble going again. What, what we got for cat? Oh, oh. Fashion. Yeah, let's go with this ridiculous hat for a while. Excellent. Ridiculous hat. We'll get the green pleated dress as well. Oh my god, that's 52,000. Oh, fur lined boots. Do you have a green colouring? No. 19k for this. I guess that's the nearest to it, even though it's black. What about the rucksacks? It's got frills on it? I keep gonna keep my bag, thank you for that. Uh shades. Wrap around ones. 
Okay, I'll buy, uh... I'll buy these boots as well. The navy boots. Right, we changed up our style a little bit again. Looking weirder. That's one hell of a hat. They say a lot of your heat, you know, it escapes your extremities, right? So, keeping my hat, hat all warm. I'll be better off for the rest of it, surely. All of my money is gone. Yeah, I went through 100k to blink my eye. Fast fashion is a problem, you know. <laughs> You've had a can of lemonade. We shouldn't forget about Challenger Alexandria, right? Oh, they're talking about people, are they? There are two challenges I've got my eyes on. Challenger Hop and Challenger Marnie. Oh, you... Ah, this is the life. Yes, yes it is. The stones paving the ground are quite cold. Snow piles in no time. The thing is, for the Roman bass, as we get Icicle Spear, TM51, which is two to five times in a row. We saw it used on us recently. As I grew up, Sad thing about them, of course, is they were poisonous. You couldn't go near them. Wouldn't they were for show and not for like the hot springs of the bass themselves. We're like, no, you can't go in it. It's toxic. That's what you're told, anyway. So it's like, oh, we've got these lovely ancient Roman baths and no one can use it. And then they've made like they've redirected stuff and they've made like a hot bath kind of place that's just like this modern facility with a roof swimming pool. It's like that's not really the same now, is it? What I was gonna lose for sure, but then my Pokemon scored a critical hit. I'm trying to move chance my battles as much as possible, but sometimes I still feel it all comes down to luck. There are plenty of people who enjoy Pokemon battles, even if they can't participate in the gym challenge. Actually, there are people who don't battle at all, too. They say this is the hot spring where the hero rested his wounded body. Right, the ancient hero's bath. It is said that heroes bathed here to heal and rest. I should bathe and rest, then. Is that a Persian engraved on this wall? Probably not, because Persians don't seem to exist here. The strongest dragon type move is called Draco Meteor. Do you want me to teach the move to your Pokemon? Sure. I'm pretty sure no one can learn it. Oh, never mind. Tell the light. Our monster that can't even exist in this world is going to learn Draco Meteor. At least he's got something to look forward to. And here we are the gym. Two X specials. Watch the gym leaders matches on this giant telly in the stadium. Well, you're about to watch another one. Foomph. Foomph to you too. Make sure I'm not missing any more sparkly turn here, you know. So any tips? The Pokemon species you see recommended in your Pokedex will be updated once you manage to catch them all or when the date changes. Oh, okay. Didn't know that. See to get the press winner skull. But Dino Mac are able to store more strength the colder it gets. I'm jealous? Probably should catch an apple guy because that guy wanted me to give him an apple, didn't he? Would not be a bad idea. I haven't saved yet, have I? Would not be a bad idea to do. 127. Somehow I don't think I'm going to be able to ca catch another 100 Pokemon this session, but still. 27 is a pretty good catch so far. Oh, I lost and you won a pot! What? Really hot? You lost! There must have been something wrong with my strategy, but I did just what I've seen Lee do in battles. Yeah, take it. See, I see this Lee card. You should check out the gym leader you'll have to face too. Melanie's Lee card? You lost, Top. I mean, you can't really use Leon's strategy, which is Charizard. Still. And me! I've got to figure out what I've put for my team once and for all, and no more of this doubting. Bye then. Right, then. Uh... Uh, what do I want to do? Uh, the card. There we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, I need to update things now, don't I? I just realised I took my skirt off because I got that dress. My plaid skirt's gone. How dare. Right, Melanie. Let's flip your card. Melanie has been a gym leader since she was in her 20s. She is also known as a very effective coach, but her coaching style is incredibly strict. Her battle style is finally severe and stoic as well. Any gym trainers who manage to remain under Melanie are sure to be powerful opponents. Thus, many see Surchester Stadium as a major roadblock for gym challenges. Many quietly speculate that Melanie's harsh battle style is due to a fight she had with her son. Oh, really? Hey, ball guy. Hey there. Thanks for one by to have a chat with you, mate. The ball guy. Hi there, Wishing Star fell to you. That means you were chosen by the Wishing Star, and that also means I got a Pokeball for you. 
a moon ball. Make it easier to catch Pokemon that can evolve using a moonstone. Moon balls are curious Pokeballs. Am I going to catch a Pokemon that evolve by using a moonstone on them? Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? Why are you crying then? In order to face Pokemon types you're weak against, you will need more than courage. Careful planning and strategy are what leads to courage, after all. What new in the moon? News me? I know, I'm so famous. Imagine the city of snow. It's as if the weather is cheering me on. You're getting close to the end, but don't go slacking off just yet. Close to the end, you say. Welcome, Gym Challenger. Do you want to attempt the gym mission? Sure. What is it this time? Wonderful. Then please use the changing room to change into your uniform and proceed onward to begin the mission. Please head on in to pick up the trap detector. You'll need it for the gym mission. Trap detector? Uh-oh. <laughs> Dowsing rods. I'm cold as well. Would you like to hear the details of the gym mission carried out here in Surchester? Sure. Then allow me to explain a little about the trap detector you're on your hands. The reason you'll need it is simple. There are invisible pitfalls everywhere in here. Plus we're on ice. Of course we're on ice. If you fall into one, you'll have to start again from the last platform you reached. The detector will vibrate when there's a pitfall in front of you. The closer the hole, the stronger the vibration. Then on with you. Good luck. Uh oh, do I have vibrations turned on? Oh, you can, you can visually see it too. Looks like there's a pitfall over there. Okay. We found the route. This is weird. I'm like being all silent, like looking at it going, uh. I'm going to put you in, Dreadnor. I think you can get us through the battles. As long as I've got Ice Type Pokemon with me, I can totally stay chill. Sure. Like, the environment looks like it would be good enough, Gym Trainer Lewis. It's a tiny little stomp. We shook a bit. Let's drop some rocks on the tiny little snom that everyone wants to protect. I'm sorry. It had to be this way. Give me some more experience. Morgrim nearly made it to 42. I'm trying to lose and defeat it. What? There's no way I could lose. Except you just did. Oh well. As long as I've got ice type Pokemon with me and stay, I can stay totally chill. I keep saying that. It looks like we're supposed to go this way, by the way. Platform one, complete. I was gonna show the pitfalls now, was it? How would you even go that way? Oh, you can actually go that way. Oh, I didn't realize. Good, good! Yes, steal your nerves, sure. And I'll just head straight up the center. I've got this. Gym Challenger, I'll freeze you and your Pokemon solid and shatter you into tiny pieces. That's a bit mean spirited. I'm challenged by Gym Trainer Liana. Send out a cloister. Well, that's a bit different. It's got water types. Shaky, shaky. Don't worry, we'll just drop some rocks on his head. We're already faster, so we're fine for that razor shell. It's gonna hurt a little bit. Is that my speed too? Alright, defense. 
Take damage. <laughs> I've got a rocky helmet. Job done. Critical hit. Morgrim levels up. 42 now. And Jim Train and Liana defeat it. I'm gonna smash the tiny pieces, along with my pride. What? Morgrim is evolving? For the Green Goblin, Grimmsnow. Right, its hair works like muscle fibers. Okay, when its hair and fills, they latch onto opponents, ensnaring them as tentacles would. Okay then. Grimmsnow wants to learn the move Spirit Break. Sure. What is Spirit Break? It's a fairy type. The user attacks the target with so much force that it can break the target's spirit. This also lowers the target's special attack. Fine by me. I guess I'll put it in that spot. One, two, and ta-da! Got Dark Pulse and Spirit Break! Didn't realise that, Vol. I thought... Just looking at the design, it probably it hit in the evolved. It's still too small randomly. I type zone threes, they have a lot of weaknesses, but I won't stop loving them. It just doesn't look like a first stage evolution, let's put it that way. Literally made it onto the next platform. Doom Challenger, you want me to battle Melanie too? We'll take on Jim Train Alexander. Ollis technically hasn't killed this version yet. Sure, yeah. That's a big bear! I like the Dreadnought's very happy with me. But all the same. Use rocks! Bears aren't super effective against rocks, especially when you critical hit. Rocks good. I'm even made of rocks. Dreadnought good to level 47. Alexander is defeated. Oh no, she might get across me if she is. I lost to a challenger. You got one shot by a challenger, I'll have you know. Not just lost. Melanie is merciless when she battles to ensure that she'll win. Not fine style that everyone likes, but that's alright. Okay, we're not going that way. This looks a bit dangerous. Okay, made it. <laughs> there was definitely some pitfalls near that area. Yeah, definitely one random extra one just to catch you out. Now into a world of silver snow. Trust yourself and push forward. Oh, now we can't see. Oh, there's a ball there. Don't rush it, sure. These weird shuffle steps I'm taking. Where's no trainers? Hello! Concentrate! I am! I'm trying to find a trainer! Must be safe somewhere. Hello! Continue forward! Even if you can't see where you're going. That's just a stadium. It's gym mission. I'm looking for a trainer! I saw a platform and I'm like, where's the trainer? Micah sends out an Avalon. Oh, that's cool. Pretty cool. It's like, basically, Dreadnought Reverse with his legs the same way, and frozen. 
Shame if someone were to break someone's icy coffee table with rocks. Half HP only? Alright, using crunch. We won't take too much damage against that. Rocky Helmet will take it into a definitely kill. Dreadnought seems a little bit worried. Don't worry about it, Dreadnought. We've got everything it takes to win this fight. Normanite level, Toxicity levels. Always add an extra eye for Toxicity's name. As we defeat Jim Toyota Mikmika. Mikaya, I was about to say. It's like you won because you believe in your Pokemon. Believe in yourself and move forward. I'm trying. It's a bit it's a bit hard to see. Along to this wall then, round this. Like, I'm very much being herded now a little bit. If I hurry, I'll only end up going in circles. Fine. I'm just going to go right to the end because... Uh-oh. That's not the right answer. <laughs> wow, I'm just in the middle of a thing. Like, blow on my screen. Where do you want me to play? It's not a 3DS. It's like there's a way I can go up there a bit, but... I think there's a way through over here a little bit. No, okay. Oh, I didn't fall! No! I was right on the edge! Don't worry, I'll just march really fast around the place. I really should have just been a bit more thinking about going this way. Am I in the same bit I was in last time? No, that's where the hole went, so I need to go up there. I was like, no, I didn't fall on that one. I think we made it. Damn, I was that close. I was that close. And I fell down the hole. I wasn't there. It cheated. It sucked me in. I knew that that was where the gap was. Oh, how dare you, game. Well, we're here. Done well. I only fell one time. Put back my chest a bit. It's cold. I don't want to. The mission cleared. I have no feetons. It's all fine. The Dowels has told me as much. And here we are. Finally, our gym challenge. is complete. Let's heal up a little bit. Because Dread does need a little bit extra. Oh, yeah. Give me that. And I guess our ace should take the front stage, right?
Let's see how many... Maybe I want Ace to go in a little bit later. Maybe I want to test the water with someone else first. To be fair. 